Good morning, hubby. <laughs> hubby? Yeah. TikTok couple pages. Probably my least favorite category of content creator. I don't know what it is about pages like this. Even YouTube couple channels I really don't like either. It just seems like when a couple decides to make videos, it always turns into very fake, just ingenuine content. It's usually everything just seems really staged, or they just crank up the lovey-doveyness to the max to appeal to like a 30-year-old mom audience. And today I found a TikTok couple who sadly does both. Allow me to introduce you to Austin and Lexi, a TikTok couple page that makes me feel physically ill. Now I am not the romantic type, seeing people touch or kiss or just being overly affectionate kind of grosses me out. That's probably something wrong with me, but uh, I don't care. PDA is not my thing, and these two take it to the absolute maximum. Now most of their content is pretty much just the boyfriend being the ground for the girlfriend to walk all over, which I think is really lame. That's not how a relationship is supposed to work. And it's played off as being really cute and really thoughtful. When in reality, at least for me, it's just extremely hard to watch. But don't worry, you don't have to take my word for it because we're gonna watch some of their videos today. So let's not waste any more time. Let's begin. Please subscribe. Good morning, hubby. <laughs> hubby? Yeah. Ooh, okay, all right. Barely five seconds into this and I'm already regretting turning this into a video. Nobody makes that noise from being called hubby. That just doesn't happen. Why would you ever think that was a good idea to plan? Ugh. It, that made my year. That made my <laughs> life. I'm just trying to control myself because you call me hubby. I didn't think anybody under the age of like 50 even used the term hubby. For this like 30 year old man to be geeking out this much over a single word, this woman must show him no affection. Be a man. I'm a hubby. <laughs> I made a deal with myself when I was younger that I would buy the woman who called me hubby for the first time flowers and serenader outside of music. I gotta go right now. I have to make this happen. There is not a single person on this planet who would make that deal with themselves. It's like I was saying earlier, this stuff is so obviously fake that even if you find this stuff in these kind of videos endearing, how would you enjoy them? Because you have to know they're staged. So then he runs outside and plays a... Uh, Copy, copyrighted song. So we don't need to hear all that. Don't worry, you're not missing anything you want to see. I wonder what the neighbors think of this. Baby, mm -hmm. can I maybe possibly maybe have some money for Starbucks? No. Oh, okay. All no, right. Stop, 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 come back. I don't think a queen should be doing their servant's work. What? I'll go get you Starbucks, don't worry, okay? Here. Baby, it's fine, please. Here's a hundred bucks. It's all over a hundred. It's everything in my pocket. Okay. I don't want uh, this. Don't worry, I'll be right back. This kind of stuff is so lame to me. Even if it's a joke, the idea that losing your self-respect, becoming somebody's servant is cute or nice in a relationship is just a really weird and backwards idea to me. Who finds this stuff appealing? Be right back. Lexi, you're my queen. I'm your knight in armor. This is how it's supposed to work. This is how it's always going to work. So don't worry. Did you just fall? No. Knights don't fall. I only fell for you though. <laughs> for Starbucks, my queen, oh, and your Starbucks cake pop. I could maybe get past the gross factor from watching these videos if on their page they ever showed the girlfriend reciprocating these kinds of actions, but uh, they don't, which leads me to believe that this is how they think a good relationship should work. Just one party bowing down to the other. Quick life tip to anybody who's not been in a relationship before, that's not how they're supposed to work. Okay. You're walking and you catch me with another man. What are you gonna do? Hey, Lexi, I got a shrimp for dinner. Oh, I see you've already had some. I'll go back to the grocery store. <laughs> Lexi, I got the job at Amazon. Jeff Bezos! <laughs> hey, have you seen the cat recently? I think it ran away. And he's eating it. <laughs> <gasps> Jiminy Cricket! <laughs> hey, the plumber should be here any second to clean the pipes. Oh, he's cleaning your pipes. Good. <laughs> Hey Lexi, I just found really cheap flights to Paris. You're already at the Eiffel Tower? 
without me? All right, so not only is this video just pure, unadulterated cringe, but it also helps to perpetuate the stereotype in most relationships that I don't really believe in, that women should be kind of allowed to oogle and google over other men while men are supposed to, you know, only have eyes for their lady. Personally, I don't understand this thought process. I feel like it's just basic respect for your partner to not act like you want to be with a different person. Don't know why that's not the commonly held thought process. I mean, I'm not a prude by any means, but I feel like it's just basic respect for a person you're trying to be in a relationship with to not constantly talk about how badly you want to get into bed with Henry Cavill. This video doesn't show it off as much as some of their others, but I'm bringing this up because a lot of their videos are two different things. One is like him asking who she wants to sleep with and what celebrities she wants to get with, and she just lists a lot of them. And then the other ones are showing him being expected to not look at a single other human on the planet. Doesn't really seem like a fair trade. Okay, baby. Car door's open for you. Get in. <laughs> I'm just not doing this right now, Lexi. Why? I don't like this. Why? It feels uncomfortable. Why? I need to go inside. I'm your simp king and you're my queen. This, this just doesn't feel right. Like, you could break it now right now, being in the cold too long. People <laughs> Like I, 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 okay, yes, yes, it does. You need to go inside, warm up. I'm gonna turn the car on, turn it around, and have your door open and everything ready for you because I. <laughs> Capiche? There is not an ounce of self respect in any of these videos. I totally get opening the door for your girlfriend, trying to warm up the car for her, but this kind of reaction is just weird. Good morning, baby. Good morning, sweetheart. <laughs> Do you ever look at other girls? Did you put that door there? No. <laughs> what kind of question is that? Why would I look at a veggie burger when I have a nice, juicy, 60 ounce ribeye, thick cut with the mashed potatoes at home? I wouldn't want to trade that off for anything else. All right, so this is what I was talking about earlier. This is what they thought would be the most appropriate response for their TikTok channel when he's asked if he ever looks at other girls. While there are literal videos on their channel about who she would have a threesome with, not including him, by the way, have a little bit of respect for yourself, buddy. I'm rooting for you. Hey, so that New Year's party tonight, I was thinking maybe like New Year, new me, new boyfriend? No. Yes, thank you. It's actually so good to finally hear somebody agree with me. I'm the boyfriend. Hold on, let me go someplace else. So do you have anyone that's like really tall? Why is it considered good content and funny to just publicly make fun of your partner? Doing it in private and messing with each other is one thing, but these guys have millions of followers and you're pretty much just making fun of your boyfriend and how you want somebody else. I mean, I don't get it. What happened to your short king? <gasps> He's six three? I'm five seven! No? But I'm your simp. No one's in a sin for you like I do. I know your exact Starbucks order that I get you every single morning. I'll serenade you. Baby, please don't go. I don't really know the lines of the next lyric. God, I want to feel bad for this guy, and then you just realize he's fully in on it. I mean, seriously, I get that most of these are just meant to be a stupid joke, but this guy still comes off as somebody who just does not respect himself. I don't know, maybe that's just me. Well, thankfully, that's over. Is it just me? Am I just miserable and don't like to see people having fun? Or is this as hard to watch for you guys as it is for me? Videos like this are my kryptonite. I just can't handle it. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and walk on over to that subscribe button and touch it. It's free. It won't cost you anything. But for now, that's all I have for you today. Bye. Subscribe.